Hi. I had a dream even on January the 1st, 2018, about two moons. You know, it's something with these two moons. I, I really don't, well, they're not moons. Well, I mean, what looks to look, looks to be moons. I think one may be, but the other isn't. These are different celestial objects that the Father has been showing me. And um, the dream I had on January the 1st, 2018, had a great significance with the other dream I'm about to uh, tell you about. Um, this one says, I saw two moons at night, and my husband told me to look at them, okay? Now, we know that the sun, the moon, and uh, the stars are all for signs and seasons and times that let us know where, where we are at. In prophecy. Now, here's another one. January the 14th, 2018. And I called this one an urgent call for the loss. Okay, it started out um, with me seeing a, a celebrity, which he played Sanford's son. But his real name was Red Fox. But in my dream, he was in this very hard, dark, hot, dark place. And he was leading these people out. He said, I don't care what may come to me. I don't care. Whatever it takes. You know, these new people coming in here need to know the truth. And... I'm going to tell at any cost. So he had no regard for his own life. Okay. He didn't care. But see. Um, the significant in that. I mean you know. Anybody would have said. Oh you just had a bad dream. No. Or had a dream. And they wouldn't have thought anything about it. But I know the way that my father speaks with me. And what the language each dream is different in the interpretation and in its symbology. And um, I've been this way ever since I was born. So, you know, um, I've been through the boot camp of um, most of um, the symbology that he's given me. Not all, but most. And um, so I believe that Red Fox, him, the symbology of who he is, is he's a, he was a celebrity. Number two, he's passed already, meaning he's dead, right? Well, when you're living in the world, you're dead. When you're running after the world and its things, you are dead. When you do those things after the world, you are dead to the Most High. Or to our Messiah. Okay? To anything that has to do with the Most High. You're dead in spirit. Okay, so that was the beginning of my dream. He began to lead people out. So, there will be men of celebrity status who are now dead that will begin to rise in the way of truth and will not have no regard for the life, for their life at hand, okay? Um, yeah, we pretty much have a lot of whistleblowers, but this here uh, will not be... Um, people we know, I mean, these people 
or not in the hundred million dollar club or the hundred thousand dollar club whatever however how much money you need to get in to their private clubs they're going to refuse to be part of that club but they are going to be celebrity status okay and then they're gonna they're gonna rise up in in a lot more numbers than they ever have and they're gonna begin to be awakened and they're gonna wake up those coming in the industry or the media or whatever a person feels they you know the stardom the entertainment and they think that they can come in there are going to be some already in awaken and they're going to pull you to the side they're going to pull a lot of the loss see because this is the end and i mean the end we have no more but a few seconds and they're going to start you know uh the coming out in the way of the truth full force rising up not having no regards for their own life okay now um they're going to be exposing the wicked and they're going to go really deep with it the devices the craftiness now yeah i mean we we got a whole lot on youtube we got a lot <sighs> that surrounds the secrecy of all this stuff but these people on the inside and they're going to do i mean a lot like a, a john todd type people except they're going to be inside still and they're going to be doing it uh at a at a very high rate and they're going to be trying to stop the loss from even coming in the industry they're going to expose all their craftiness all their tricks they are against the father's children the most highest children okay they will lead many to the truth after being awakened and will help the lost avoid the pitfalls of this darkness while coming out of babylon so they can see how to come out and they will be the only light okay so um as i was seeing them come out as red fox was leading these people out of this place that was very dark and it just looks like a big old um i don't know some industrial place and it looked dark uh i've seen the fire you know you can see the i mean it was fiery red in there it was really hot and these people were running um he was leading them as they were coming in he was like when he spotted them he'd try to lead them down the path and it'd be a little sneaky path he's taking them down uh, down stairways and around all kind of different you know uh avenues taking them straight back to the door they came in to hurry up and get out and he's doing it in secrecy so um these people are going to be in the world but they're going to be sneaking and they're going to lead many out that door back out that door because this place that they're coming in is very hot and very dark i mean just it's hard for me to explain it just looks like the pit of hell where he was leading the people out of you know as they came in he was gathering them up and said look you know i don't care what they you know what they do to me but you don't need to come here you don't need to come in here you know this is what i was seeing now um then when i stopped you know when i seen him leaving them out then i seen two moons as if i come out of that building and me and my husband was well basically he was showing we got out the car um so i was like the dream took a turn <laughs> so uh we was looking like to the north 
Northwest. Man, I don't know. It looks, you know, if it's on the map, it'll be in the north. But if you live where I live, it's the west. So, in the dream is, is to the west. Or depends on where you're at. So, um, I seen two moons. What look like two bright big moons. Now we know there's no two. We don't have two moons, okay? I mean, that we know of. But there's another celestial object that's that gives you the impression that it's a moon. And uh, one thing about these two moons, one was a pearly, well, both were looking pearly white and shiny. And they were huge and near the earth. I mean, so near the earth. You would think you can run in, in, with so many miles of driving, you could, you could get to it. You know, um, they were very radiant, very close to the earth. And uh, as usual, I panic because I didn't have my camera. I tell my husband to look. And when I began to show him and get my camera at the same time, I was fixing to get a picture of them. And this man driving a big truck or diesel carrying a load pulled right in front of me on the highway stretch of the whole view. Oh, yeah. I was very upset that he blocked everyone from seeing the view. And another guy, he, he was too. He was talking to me about it. And he was very upset. You know, he was a Caucasian guy. And the reason why I say that, you know, is not really important that it was Caucasian, but it is in this dream because, you know, there's a lot of them are more knowledgeable about what's really going on. And he said, I'm sick and tired of this deliberate covering up from others and, 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 and I'm just tired of it. He said, so he was very upset because this diesel pulled up and he was in the, um, I mean, he was in the impression that the truck was being, uh, was covering up. Um, the view on purpose. Now, this is in the dream, but I'm going to stop it right there for a moment because there is a deliberate covering up of many things happening in the celestials right now. Okay, so that's something uh, very significant because he was talking about, you know, I'm tired of them covering up you know, the sky and covering up things and I can't see it. You know, we, we can't see it, but we have the deliberate covering up from others. And we deserve to see what is going on as well. So me and him was talking about it and people were amazed at the view and were also taking pics. And as I began to move closer and get around the man's rig, both Pearly light moons begin to dissolve. Yes, my heart sank. It sank. I said, oh no. A picture of a lifetime. Then a few minutes later, they reappear like shiny pearls again. Okay, so, you know, the wicked has been hiding the signs of its coming in all circumstances. Don't be deceived. Pray that you are accounted worthy and that you are ready during that hour and time and season with repentance. You should be watching, okay? This is the time, this is the season, and it's the hour, <clears throat> excuse me, that you should be watching. You should be watching every, um, every sign. Um, I have some verses here, 2nd Esther 9, 1 and 2, and it, um, it says here in 2nd Esther 9, 1 and 2, going there right now, he answered me then said, measure thou the time diligently in itself 
And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, Then shalt thou mm -hmm, understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay, now I read on a little bit further on to four. Okay, then the next one is Second Esdras thirteen thirty two, and then the next one is Second Esdras eight six and nine, and those are in the Apocrypha. Um. This dream um, tells you a lot if you are awakened. So uh, take heed, be watching, praying that you are accounted worthy. Okay, and have a blessed day. Shalom.